Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode from the Hermitcraft server. I have some plans. I don't want to say that my mojo, my building inspiration, my builder's block is completely, uh, you know, I, I don't want to say I'm not still working through it a little bit, but I have ideas and things are happening and I'm excited to be back kind of to my old self where I'm able to play. We, we should take a sleep. But I had a live stream earlier today um, and we built some things uh, and that's what we're going to work on t in today's episode uh, is that area. So let's take a look at that. Over here, I built uh, another couple of houses. They're not finished yet. You can see them right here. Oh, hi, zombie. Go away. Um, but the interesting thing is that to make the terrain work, I made like a, a retaining wall right here. And then this is going to be divided into three different buildings. One here, one here, and one upstairs. Uh, so I think it's pretty cool. Obviously, we still have some work left to do as far as windows and all that kind of stuff. This house is a really weird shape, um, but the roof actually works. Like, it turned out surprisingly well uh, because the building is a very weird shape. There's a, there's a lot of, like, uh, areas that are diagonal and all sorts of weird stuff. However, before we get into that, also during the live stream, I went looking for something or other, I forget. Maybe I was looking for wood. I think I was looking for oak wood. And I came across another flower forest and we have a ton of allium. Like we have five stacks of allium flowers. And when I was talking about that last episode, a lot of you left a comment and said, hey, you know, stress is starting a project. Uh, that involves a lot of allium. You should give them all to stress. And I, you know what? I think that's an awesome idea because I've got, I, I, I don't really think I'm going to need more than like this 20. I, I don't use allium very often. Um, so I think she will put them to much better use than I will. So we're going to go deliver these to stress. Uh, that's a trap chest. Let's not use trap chest. Let's use a regular one. And um, just in case... Just in case, let's make sure we grab a couple more signs. I'm probably not going to use them. Um, but either way, let's head over to Stress's place and deliver these flowers. All right, guys, here we are. Stress's swamp that she's been working on. Looking pretty good, if I do say so myself. Um, we want to make sure we leave these somewhere where she will find them. Um, do, 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 do. Maybe, maybe in here, is this like her her house? Is this where her bed is and all that kind of stuff where she comes to sleep? Uh, this looks kind of vacant. Oh, uh, maybe not. Yeah, so here's a double bed. Uh, I think this is like her main house. I'm not entirely sure. I haven't been over here before, but I think this is it. Or she might live up there. I don't know. Um, hmm. If we could find, like, her storage, that's a place where people go all the time. That would be, like, the, the place to leave something. Uh, nothing up there. A little map. Okay, okay. Um, oh, I'm, I'm trapped in the thing. I, you know what? I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it's probably, like, oh, oh, and there's stuff over there, too. There's so many things. Beacon. Some sort of a tree thing. Maybe over here? Maybe I'll just do... You know what? Let's just put it, like, right in front of the portal. Then whenever she leaves, she's going to... Uh, she's going to have to... She'll see it. Or we'll put it right here on this bridge. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's put it right here. We'll put it right here on our little boat dispenser thing. Um, on her dock. We'll put it right here with the sign that says stress. Or actually we'll say herd. You are in need of these. And we'll just say art wells. There we go. And we'll do one, two, three, four, 
five. There we go, five stacks of Allium flowers. So just to make sure that she finds it, make sure that you tweet at her or leave a comment on her video or something and let her know that those are there so that she finds them. Cause I don't know if she watches my videos or not. Uh, most of the hermits are extremely busy and we don't really have nearly as much time to watch hermitcraft videos as we would like. Um, so it's possible she'll miss it, but leave, leave a comment on her video and just say, hey, Wells left you a present on your uh, dock or buy your boat dispenser or whatever, or send her a tweet or something so she finds it. I'm, if she's in need of Allium, she will probably appreciate getting five stacks of Allium given to her. Um, so anyway, I'm going to head back to the castle and we're going to get some work done. All right, guys, I am back and I did some stuff. I have to admit I'm a little salty right now. <laughs> so I came back and I recorded this wonderful clip about how we were going to make the butcher, the baker and the candlestick maker. And we made the baker like so. And we made the candlestick maker like so. And upstairs, we made the butcher. And Windows changed the input on my recording software to something different, and I had no audio for any of it. And that was basically a full-length episode. So, yeah. A little salty, but I do want to kind of take you take you through the, the, the stuff that I did. So, uh, let's, let's start up here with the butcher. So first of all, the floor up here is entirely carpeted. And the reason for that is because the lower uh, level of this building is inset by one. And there's also a wall right here. So if it's not carpeted, if we left it as wood, we'd have like this weird like random white spots coming through and it just wouldn't look very good. So I carpeted the entire floor in the butcher uh, and I'm, I'm going to pretend that this isn't wool and that it's some sort of like stone tile or some or something. Uh, I mean, linoleum, I don't think was a thing in the Middle Ages, but we'll, we'll say it's some sort of a tile. I don't know, maybe I could uh, improve, maybe I could give it more of a tile feeling if we went with like a... Actually, yeah, 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 let's do that right now before I forget and I, I lose the idea from my brain. Um, let's go grab another color of carpet. And what we'll do is we'll turn that into like a little checkerboard pattern. Um, well, I talk about some of the other things that I do want to talk about today because today was a, a very busy day for me, honestly. I'm gonna I'm going to go into a little bit of a... A little bit of a talky episode here for a little while, um, partly because I just lost a bunch of an episode, but also because today was a a, a very busy day. Uh, not so much for like YouTube stuff and all that kind of stuff. Uh, it is the next day, by the way. Yeah, the the previous clip was recorded yesterday. Um, this is now well, technically it's Saturday, but uh, Friday for me, sort of, kind of. Anyway, I'm, I'm getting, I'm just kind of babbling at this point. Um, but my wife and I went furniture shopping and we bought, um, a new, like, bedroom set. So, like, uh, a new, uh, a couple of dressers, we got, uh, a bed frame, we got a new bed, a new mattress, uh, which is actually really good because the one we were using was the mattress that I had like in college and I've had it for a very long time. And uh, as some of you probably know, when you have a mattress for long enough, it kind of hits a point where you're like, eh, this really isn't super comfortable to sleep on anymore. So uh, my wife and I have both been having some, some issues sleeping, just uh, like tossing and turning. And uh, and I'm, I'm kind of uh, a, a late night, type person anyway like I'm I'm one of those people that sleeps in generally pretty late uh but then I stay up until some ridiculous hour like I'm often still awake when my wife wakes up in the morning um but we got a new bed and it's kind of amazing we got a new bed frame to go with it a couple of dressers which is great because uh the dressers that we have oh, we actually previously only had one dresser uh which was not big enough for both of our stuff uh, yeah, I think that's a definite improvement. Oh, and I missed one right there. Some of you were probably raging about it. 
Uh, did I get them all? I think I did. Yeah, that, that actually looks a lot better. That's a definite improvement. Um, so yeah, we got some new stuff. Uh, now that the floor is done, let's talk about the butcher for a little bit. So, the butcher. The nether rack and the quartz represents meat. Now, yes, I know I could use uh, red glazed terracotta. I think I want to use the nether rack. I, I think the nether rack is a little bit more meaty, <laughs> for lack of a better word. What, what is the proper terminology for a meat-like substance? Um, anyway, I, I think this will work. The quartz uh, would be like fat. Um, and then the, the regular nether rack would be your proper meat. Now, interestingly, some of these are hung from the ceiling. I was originally planning to use, like, an iron bar and hang the, uh, the meat from the ceiling with an iron bar, but the problem is these slabs are up on the top half of a block, so if you put an iron bar, you end up with a half a block, uh, a half a block gap, and then on top of that, the iron bar would be, like, right here, and that's not enough space to properly hang the meat. So what I ended up doing instead was I put some armor stands up there and then I pushed the slabs down into place and it it actually works like it it works. Uh, it was an idea. I just that came to me in the middle of the previous video, which was lost forever. But I will assure you it was the greatest uh, 20 to 25 minutes of footage I have ever recorded in the history of YouTube. So it's a shame that it's lost forever. I promise it was super amazing. Um, well, maybe not, but anyway, yeah, the uh, the armor stands as kind of like meat hangers. I think it actually works, and uh, I don't know. There's part of me that really loves the little base of the armor stand on top, and there's part of me that doesn't, and I can't decide which one I like better. But either way, it's there, and we've got you know meat uh, laying out. We've got uh, I, I'd I'd like to kind of get some item frames and and hang uh, well not hang but put like uh, steaks and um, cooked mutton and stuff like that over here. But uh, for now, this will do. This will do. I think you walk into this and you do kind. I, I, it does give the feeling of a butcher. I think. Um, and then this would be like the butcher's table. Now over here, there is the top of a chimney. You can't actually use it in the butcher, which is fine, because I, I don't think the butcher would be cooking the meat. He would just be selling uh, the meat and giving it to the people to cook themselves. But that leads to the baker over here, and we've got uh, a little bit of like a, an oven design over here. This was inspired by uh, someone on my Patreon server. I forget who it was, but when I did a Patreon server tour, I saw this. It might have been Stina? I don't know. Either way. Um... This was inspired by that, and I thought it was a great idea. So back there, we've got a couple loaves of bread that are baking to let you know that this is a, an oven for baking bread. And then back here, we've got fire not directly below the bread, but down even farther. And what that does is all you get here is the smoke particles. You hear the fire uh, a little bit, but you don't see the flames at all. You just get a little bit of the smoke particles. Uh, to let you know that, you know, it's nice and hot in there and you were baking the bread and all that kind of stuff. I think it's pretty cool. I like it a lot. Um, we could even potentially do, like, a couple of trap doors. Those block the smoke particles. Okay, well, there goes that plan. It was worth trying, though. I'm glad we at least gave it an attempt and, and tried it out. I didn't know that trap doors block smoke particles. I didn't think they did. Anyway, that's fine. So that'll work. Uh, and then we got some loaves of bread sitting out as well. Little chest over here for some payment and then a, a, a crafting bench. And then in the candlestick maker, I would like to use end rods, but I don't have the stuff for them at the moment. So I'll have to go and fetch some of those from the end. I don't think I even have any chorus fruit. I might. I don't know. I should look. Do I have any chorus fruit? Can I grow chorus fruit? Just like a little, you know, super cheap and easy chorus fruit, like a temporary car cor he 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 words, um, a little bit of a temporary chorus fruit farm. That's much more difficult to say than I anticipated. Uh, let's see, we would need some end stone. I've got one chorus flower. I, <laughs> I have one, um, unless I have them over here, but I don't think that's likely. Or maybe over here? Yeah, this is the only one. Okay, so I can grow chorus fruit. I can grow one. I will grow one. 
We'll just make a little chorus fruit farm right here. Let that grow. Let that do its thing. Uh, and hopefully it will give me, like, all the chorus fruits at some point. Um, but anyway, so I think the candlestick maker will look better once we get end rods in there instead of candles. We'll probably still have some candles as well. Uh, but I'm not entirely sure, like, how candlestick makers did their thing. So... I don't know what like tools they would use or what we could do to represent that. So I just kind of threw some stuff together and did it in the hopes that it'll look good. Uh, as for the exterior of the building, also, by the way, the roads here are not done. Uh, we need to get this all sorted out and, and texturized like the rest. But uh, the exterior of the building, I did some interesting things as well. Some of it you've seen before, like the, the shutters and the windows and little flower boxes and stuff like that. But we got this little bridge right here that crosses over into the butcher so we get that little uh, uh, overhang and then over here we had a diagonal window and i tried i played around with a couple different things i played around with just glass blocks uh i decided against that because in the texture pack that i use for hermitcraft only the regular glass panes have this kind of medieval cross texture the glass panes or the glass blocks, I should say, look very much like default glass blocks. The only difference is they don't have the streaks. So they just looked really out of place. And I don't really want to change the texture pack. I know some of you probably don't like the texture pack to begin with, but I think it's a pretty minor thing. And it's one of those things where if any of the other hermits come to look at it, it's still going to look perfectly fine. Um, like... It's not enough of a dramatic change that it will look back. It's just kind of, uh, you know, this is glass blocks. This is glass panes. It's for a kind of our own personal uh, enjoyment, so to speak. It's and, I, and it's not one of those things where, like, I'm changing the color or, you know, I'm not taking uh, something that's normally an ugly block and making it look good. Per se, you know, like uh, if I was taking diorite and turning it into, uh, like, um like a light cobblestone or light stone brick texture like I do with the texture pack I use in Kingdoms. So it's one of those things where I, I, I didn't want to change the texture pack at this point and the glass blocks looked out of place because the, the medieval glass texture that we're using doesn't apply to those glass blocks. So that's a thing. Oh, also, by the way, guys, guys, when we showed this map room and we updated the map, there were so many of you who said, you forgot the docks, you forgot the docks. And, and, and I, I have now remembered the docks. So just so you know, the, the docks, the, like I, I can't believe how many comments were on that video saying, you forgot the docks, you forgot them, you monster, you're all, it, it, it was unbelievable. Anyway, let's go update the map and add on the stuff that we just built. Uh, do, do, do. Still haven't found a white horse, by the way. I'm just uh, throwing that one out there. Still on the lookout for a white horse. That should be that part of the map. And then we'll swing over here. And there we go. Map should now be updated. So if we land like a so. And I think that one goes here and this one goes there. Yeah. Beautiful. Looking good. Looking good. Okay. So, and you can see the, the map actually shows it very well. Just how weird of a shape that building is. Like, it's a very bizarre shape to try and do a roof for. Uh, there's also a chimney on the roof as well. I don't know if I showed that, but the chimney is there. Um, I do want to try and start incorporating more chimneys into the builds. Uh, also, there have been a lot of comments saying... Finish the walls, finish the walls, finish the walls. Um, and I've talked about this a little bit, so I'm not going to harp on it too much. My plan for the walls is I'm going to build up the walls as I'm building up the castle. So I don't think it makes sense to build all the walls and then try and build the stuff in between, because what if I need to, like, modify the shape to make room for buildings? Like, for example, this wall was originally supposed to come straight through uh, like over here and straight up, right? Like this, this little part. Um, and then I decided I want to put a staircase here. So here I might have to actually stick the wall out this way a little bit or, or whatever. 
I don't want to just make the walls and then have to build the buildings and maybe have to move the walls. I think I'd rather just kind of build it up as we go. So if we look at parts of the castle, um, let's see, map room is over here. If we look at the parts of the castle, like this area right in here is relatively finished. I mean, it's not finished finished. There's still details and stuff that we'll have to add. And I just realized there's a little part back there that isn't uh, paved. I'll do that at some point as well. Uh, but this area is mostly finished and the walls are in place around this area. And that's basically how, how that's going to work. So like when we start working on this area and we fill this up, you know, then we'll bring the, then we'll do the walls to accommodate for it and and as we expand this way we'll bring the walls over to accommodate for that and so on and so forth so that's my plan for the walls um i know some of you are frustrated that i haven't finished them already but i don't think it makes sense to have to rebuild them over and over and over and over and over again um or to try and, and it's also one of those things where the walls are a huge project and it's a, a very huge and not only huge but very kind of monotonous project where it's just repeating the same thing over and over again and it, it's a lot more tolerable if I do it in small doses <laughs> rather than trying to knock out all of the walls at once, if that makes sense. Uh, so that that's a thing. But I do want to go back to my story. So we, my wife and I went shopping and we got new furniture stuff, uh, which was pretty cool. So we're excited. It's being delivered tomorrow. I have no elytra rockets anymore, um, at least not on my person. They're in my ender chest. That's okay. We're just coming over here to breed up these cows because I need cows for leather for bookshelves and item frames and all that kind of good stuff. Um, but anyway, so we did our furniture shopping and we got done with that at maybe like six or seven o'clock in, in the evening, something something along those lines, uh, you know, around supper time. So we also went and we got, uh, we went out for supper and then, uh, Recently, there was like Amazon Prime Day or whatever, where they had a bunch of like deals on Amazon Prime and stuff like that. So I ordered uh, a new monitor because there was a, a monitor that was like half price and we got that in the mail today as well. So I basically ended up rearranging and cleaning my entire office or studio, whatever you want to call it, to accommodate for three monitors instead of two. Um, and on top of that, we added like a cube organizer bookshelf type thing to my office. I think all the cows are now successfully bred. This is good. This is good uh, because I actually do need a ton of leather uh, for different things. Um, but we added a cube organizer because my office has been it's kind of become very messy. Uh, and it's not anymore. Now it's all clean and organized and it's, it feels great. Um, but, oh, it's growing already. Look at that. Uh, but it's become kind of messy over the last couple months. Not, not, not messy in like a disgusting and gross sort of way. Not, not you know, dirty in that way. But more in like a, just clutter everywhere. You know, by audio equipment uh, sitting around and cables that I don't really have anywhere else to put and... Uh, you know, notebooks and stuff like that. Just clutter. Not in like a disgusting, wow, why do you have this Pizza Hut box from six months ago still sitting in here? Like, not in that kind of way. I'm not, I'm not that type of gross. Um, I'm, I'm, yeah, that's, I, that's disgusting. Clean up after yourself. That's how you get bugs and mice and bad things in the house. But it just, you know, dirty, my, my office was dirty in a just cluttered sort of way. There was just stuff like everywhere. Um, and now it's nice and organized, because the problem was not that I didn't have any desire to clean, but rather I just didn't really have a good place to put any of that stuff. Um, so we added this cube organizer, and then I spent a couple hours today cleaning my office, organizing everything, getting everything in places that were sensible, and, uh, and all that kind of stuff. Um... I tore down my entire setup, my entire recording setup, which is probably why I lost that clip <laughs> because I had to restart my computer and plug all my stuff back in and all that kind of stuff. So I probably somewhere in their windows was like, oh, you want to use uh, your speakers as your microphone? Sure. You know, because stupid windows. Uh, but anyway, it was one of those things where I spent a couple hours doing it and you know, it's great. I have three monitors now. And some of you are probably wondering, what in the world do you need three monitors for, you, 
you goof? Well, uh, the answer is that when you're streaming, uh, or for that matter, when you're doing other things that YouTubers do, such as editing videos or uh, doing, you know, digital media work with uh, like thumbnails, for example, gravity, I guess you could kind of call that like a, 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 a type of graphic design, you know, any of that kind of stuff. Often you're, I have windows upon windows open. I've got different programs open and different things. Open. Like I've got so many different things open and it's nice to be able to give them their own monitor rather than flipping back and forth. Uh, and for streaming, especially like the ability to have the game on one monitor, the chat on another monitor and OBS on, uh, on, on an additional monitor is just super valuable. Uh, like that, it, it makes a huge difference because, you know, if, you're doing it all on, like, I can't even imagine doing uh, streaming on one monitor. I did it a long, long time ago, and I would never, ever do it again. Uh, I think two monitors is kind of like the bare minimum that I would ever want for streaming. Uh, but we, I'm finally on a, a three-monitor setup for the first time in my life, and I'm very excited about it. It's very, uh, it's going to take some getting used to. Uh, the new monitor is a little bit bigger than the old ones were. So, like, that's a thing. But, um... All in all, like, I think it's it's a positive. Am I out of? No, there's no way I'm on a fish. One of these is filled with fish. Aha! I see you. Fish. There we go. I was going to say. Uh, and while I'm at it, allow me to do that. Which reminds me, many of you had said, Wells Knight, you should probably dye your shulker boxes to represent what's in them. My system for that is that if it if, if it's a shulker box that I'm permanently going to use for something, I will dye it. If it's a temporary kind of multi-purpose whatever I put in it shulker box, I don't dye it. So like the yellow one that I have is for the gear that I always want to carry around with me at all times, like uh, a water bucket and a flint and steel and, um, you know, a set of arrows and a bow and uh, stuff like that. The red one is my redstone box. The white one is for rockets. The gray one is for the stuff for these roads over here. But ones that I just use to kind of grab random building materials and take back with me, like those, eh, whatever. Rename them, don't rename them, who cares? It is what it is. Uh, they're gonna get swapped out so many times and I don't feel like re them over and over again. So that's, that's kind of my system for that. It's a system, a lot of the systems I use uh, for organization are things that kind of make sense in my own brain. Um, and that's really all that matters to me. Like, <laughs> they probably drive some of you crazy, but um, it's all good. It's all good. But yeah, three monitors, new furniture, office organized and cleaned, which is a an amazing thing to, like, be able to see the floor in my office because there's not boxes of uh, random stuff and, uh, you know, owner's manuals and cables and soundboards and stuff like that all over the place like it's it's great it's a nice feeling i feel like i accomplished something today even if i didn't accomplish so much uh, as far as minecraft goes today i definitely had a very productive day unfortunately though guys my very productive day is coming to a close pretty soon i need to get some videos edited and rendered for you guys to get them out and i am out of time for this episode so my friends if you enjoyed this video you know what to do. Links in the description below. Thank I'm sorry that the, the episode was a little kind of all over the place. Um, I was not expecting to lose the episode that I recorded and have to come up with something on the fly. So I'm sorry about that. But I am happy to say my builder's block seems to be uh, disappearing. I'm, I'm feeling I'm starting to feel very inspired again, uh, which means we're going to be back to having Hermitcraft. Probably not every day. In fact, almost certainly not every day, but hopefully back to every other day very soon. Um, so get hyped for that but anyway guys i've already said my outro thanks for watching and i'll definitely see you next time <laughs>